Hello Aries, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts. How are you? This is your love and life reading focused on the second half of March from the 16th through the 31st. General reading as always guys, it's not going to resonate with every single Aries out there. So please do take from this reading what makes sense for you and let the rest go. If you are interested in your own personal private reading, all of that information is down below in the description box and I will have a list of all of the card decks that I will be using for today's reading Aries. What I have in front of me are the two card decks that I will be using for the focus messages this time around. The first deck is called Girl by Salbiadora of Eat, Read, Love. And then we'll grab insight from the top secret deck by Angelic Revelation 144. Okay, so let's start off with the Girl deck. This is actually the very first time that I'm using this deck. And it's so new that some of the cards are still sticking to each other. So let's go ahead and take a look, Aries, and see what it is that you need to focus on first at this time. All right, let's take a look and see what I'm guided towards here. Let's grab this one here. What does this say? The soul within is the universe within. Interesting message. So the universe definitely has a part in your destiny where life is at currently and if you're dealing with some challenges at this time this for me is coming through letting you know that you got to be in tune with yourself your mind your body your soul you have to be in balance and that's what's going to help the universe to step in on your behalf to create movement in whatever direction it is that you're wanting to move your life at this time okay so let's add to this with the top secret deck aries and let's take a look and see what else needs to come forward here let's take a look we might grab one or two from this one depending on what comes forward and what i'm guided towards i want to grab this one here the karmic is blackmailing me so i can't leave some of you guys might be dealing with a karmic partnership or this is what your person has gotten themselves involved in and if you guys are at a distance from one another this is their way of letting you know that's part of the reason why they either haven't reached out to you or why they cannot create movement towards you at this time i'm feeling guided to grab one more message from this deck Oh, wow. I feel the same way about you. So however it is that you're feeling about this person that you're focused on for this reading, Aries, despite the challenges, despite the fact that they might be dealing with a karmic, you guys are in separation, having issues and challenges and whatever obstacles you guys are dealing with. They feel the exact same way you do. So we'll dig a little bit deeper, of course, to see what that's telling us here so let's grab some insight from the pining rose love oracle deck by calico moon angels and spirit guides please for aries in love and life for the second half of march all right let's see how this is going to unfold here angels and spirit guides please for aries we have dreams come true. I feel the same way about you. Maybe they feel that you are their dream come true and perhaps you guys are on the same page when it comes to that. But they can't create movement towards you right now because of this karmic situation. So you could have ghosted them. That's the next card coming forward. Especially if you happen to be feminine energy. You could have connected with one another in a past life. Reconnecting in this lifetime to tie up any loose ends, to reconnect, to continue the love story that you had in a previous life. You might still have been very drawn to one another in this lifetime. We have vows. Broken vows at this time which is why you're in separation, which is why somebody ghosted the other. 
Some of you could have been married or were planning to get married someday. This is something that you guys might have talked about, building a life with one another. But right now, we have a cold shoulder. Again, more than likely feminine energy here. Ghosted and cold shoulder, both with female figures in the photos here. And if you happen to be Divine Feminine Aries, this is your energy here. You're giving your person the cold shoulder right now. And this more than likely is the reason. Third party, karmic partnerships. Especially, you know, with that first message here, the karmic is blackmailing me so I can't leave. But believe it or not, there's still hope. There's still hope for this partnership. There is still hope here, even though it might not seem like it right now. Aries. And if you guys really are on the same page, you still want each other. Okay? So, let's continue. Mystic Moon Oracles, let's take a look and see what else needs to come forward here. Angels and Spirit Guides for Aries. What else do we need to know in love and life for Aries for the second half of March? And a very happy birthday for those celebrating birthdays in March. Vibrations. You guys are still connecting energetically here, Aries. Free will. You both have your free will. Everybody does. And for my feminines, it was certainly your prerogative to ghost this person. Not surprised. Deception. Dishonesty. Lies. Third parties. Karmic partnerships. Blackmail. Some heavy stuff going on here. But tied into vibrations is the fifth dimension, and that's where you guys are connecting still. We have commitment, but it's falling right below cold shoulder. And again, with the vows card coming through here, some of you guys were married, or again, was either getting ready to get married, you could have been engaged. This could have been your fiancé that broke their vows, that couldn't keep their promises, that entered into a third-party situation, and the commitment just did not happen, or they were really bad at it. So this is what's put you guys here, that crossroads energy, this third party. Somebody's heart definitely broken. This is very similar to me, similar energy as the Three of Swords. Grief, heartbreak over a separation, but it is falling right below. There's still hope. So maybe the universe has a different plan. The universe is watching out for you. We have a barrier, okay? So that's falling right below. Be mine. So that's what's preventing you guys from coming back towards each other, especially if. Your partner is dealing with a third party, a karmic, that is giving them some trouble, creating some drama. Okay, so let's dig a little bit deeper here, Aries. Let's see if we can get a little bit more clarity as to what's going on here. This is the Bougie deck by Salviadora of Eat, Read, Love. Angels and Spirit Guides for Aries. What else do we need to know? In love and life, second half of March. What else? Of course, we have the moon. Lies, disillusion, affairs. Not surprised to see that. It is water energy. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This creates very confusing energy, the moon. Especially since I feel the love, the connection between you and your person, Aries, 
It was actually amazing and really good. The chemistry was good between the two of you. If it wasn't, you wouldn't be connecting in the fifth dimension. You wouldn't be there. Even though you're giving them the cold shoulder, even though you ghost to them, even though you're really pissed, and maybe even shut the door to this connection, there's a reason why this is coming through. There's still hope. There's a reason why this message is still coming through. Because you still care for them. You still love them. I feel the same way about you. Okay, your person coming through, letting you know that however way you're feeling, they feel that too. And if you still care for them, if you still love them, they're on the same page. But for some reason, they can't come towards you right now because of this issue with the third party. And the moon's energies, it's all about fantasies, desires, our imagination, our dreams, our fears, our darker aspects of our energy, our subconscious, but on the other side of the energy of the moon is sensitivity, healing, success after a period of devastation. The light at the end of the tunnel, okay? And that's where I feel that light is coming from. That's your light at the end of the tunnel. That's giving you and your person hope that someday you guys might be able to break beyond this barrier and come back together and recommit towards the partnership. We have the Queen of Wands, fire energy. That's your own energy, Aries, as well as Leo and Sagittarius. So my feminines, you're coming forward as the Queen of Wands. Your confidence, it shines. It shines from within you. And it's so interesting because, again, that first focus message, the soul within is the universe within. That confidence that is exuding from your very soul represents the universe's energies too and what you're attracting back to you. You're not perfect, but you're perfect for your person. And maybe there was a time when you felt that too, like you've met your perfect match. We have the nine of coins, nine of pentacles. Pentacles is earth, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. So somebody could be spending a little bit too much, very careless with their spending habits, just tapping themselves out financially. This could be your person. The Nine of Pentacles also is tied into gratitude, just being thankful for what you have in your life. But again, just spending a little bit too much trying to live in luxury, so to speak, but really unable to afford that luxury. So it could be tied into your person. You know, it's, it's almost like they're trying to fill a void with all of the issues that's going on between the two of you. And shopping could be an outlet to just forget about their troubles and not deal with what's going on here. So it, it's really, truly like filling a void. Shopping might make them feel good, but they're just draining themselves financially, possibly. We have two pages, one right after the other, the Page of Swords, and then we've got the Page of Wands. Pages deliver messages. The Page of Swords is somebody who's very curious, very energetic. And the Page of Wands is somebody who's very enthusiastic. Somebody who has a very exciting personality. But they also enjoy their freedom, you know. 
So if your person Aries might have felt a little bit stifled or closed in in the relationship, perhaps that's why they entered into a third party, especially if they were bad at commitment. And my page of swords could be somebody who's just very restless. So however way that's playing a part in your person's energy, it's coming through here. We do have the hanged man as well, giving you a new perspective on how to see the situation. And then we have the four of swords, followed by the five of coins. So you guys are definitely taking a break from each other right now. because that Four of Swords is all about recuperation. And the hangman is suspension, it is surrendering, it's self-sacrifice, it's letting go. It's offering you a new perspective or your person a new perspective. The hangman is water energy. So again, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. But this is letting us know here, Aries, that you guys have already been through the hard times. That's coming to an end if it hasn't already. And if your person is going to create any sort of movement towards reconciliation towards you, they need to get to a place where they're ready to make that decision. You know, they can't allow somebody to manipulate them or to blackmail them in any way if that's what this third party is doing. Because once they make that decision to get you guys out of the fifth dimension and back towards connecting face to face for real in real life in the 3D, that's what's actually going to bring your person just this sense of peace, just peace of mind that finally they made a decision to stand up for themselves, to remove this barrier, to create the hope that is still here, to bring two people back together who still care for one another, who still love each other. That's what's representing that light at the end of the tunnel. And part of the energy, too, of the hangman is to let go, just release what is no longer serving a purpose in one's life. And if your person has attached themselves to a third party, they need to let that go in order for the two of you to come back together. That can't be a part of this scenario here. They need to be able to create more room in their life, in their heart, to be able to receive to receive you back in their life. So part of the energy of the hangman is to leave the past behind because there's nothing that either one of you can do anything about that anyway. You gotta leave it behind and create that healing that needs to happen for two people to be at a crossroads energy here, which is represented right here. You know, that's where you might ultimately find yourselves. And that's where that healing needs to start because somebody needs to create movement and make a decision to get you guys away from that crossroads, to get yourselves back on the right track in your relationship and your partnership. But I feel here it falls on your person to be able to resolve the issues tied into a third party. They need to let that go. Because you guys can't keep going the way you guys were going. That wasn't going to work. So I'm not surprised that we do have that cold shoulder and ghosted coming through here and a barrier. So what I'm picking up here is my feminines especially. You've created these walls to keep your masculine away from you for now. Until they get their shit together, you know. And detach themselves from third parties and karmics. And anything negative or toxic, they need to get rid of all that. 
in order to be able to come back in your direction. For this barrier to even be removed, they've got some work to do. So right now you guys are taking a break from each other. That's why we've got that four of swords right there. But if they don't get their act together, Aries, you know, we do have that five of coins, five of pentacles. Someone's going to be left out in the cold, you know, you're going to lock this door and keep it locked. So I feel here that for those resonating with this, your person has a particular window of opportunity to get their act together, to do the right thing, to bring you back into their life. That's it. So let's grab some romance angels here and let's take a look and see what else needs to come forward here. Angels and spirit guides, please. For Aries in love and romance, what else do we need to know? What else? do we need to know please reconciliation retreat okay so there's a chance there is a chance there is still hope here to reconcile to come back together and if you look at this photo it's a married couple right there they're retreating so there's two ways to interpret this especially for those of you who were married or planning to get married someday. I'm feeling more so this is for those of you who were married, who decided to disconnect from the partnership because of a third party. So either you guys have truly distanced yourself from each other by way of a separation. It could even be a legal separation. Some of you guys could have even been heading towards a divorce. And there's a chance though that if you want it, if you want to fix your marriage, there's still a chance that you can reconcile if you both put in the effort to work on the partnership. And the other interpretation of this card is two people who just want to be left alone so that they can work on their relationship. Disconnecting from the world, no outside interference, no third parties, nobody else telling them what it is that they need to do or how to fix it. They just want to be able to work on the partnership on their own. And yes, somebody needs to make the effort here. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. And if they really want you, Aries, they're going to know what it is that they need to do to remove that barrier to come back into your life because the desire to re reconcile, it's here. It's definitely here. Okay, so I wanted to grab some dialogue here from your person, Aries. This could either be from your person, this could be some words that you've been wanting to say to them as well. So take whatever of these messages resonates with you. We'll grab a few. And whichever one you're guided towards, let's take a look. Angels and spirit guides for Aries. Who needs to speak up here? All right, let's grab this bottom of the deck. All right, what do we have? So whether these words are from your person, Aries, or from you, you'll know which ones you are guided towards. Okay, so let's start. I knew from the first time that I saw you that I would love you forever. Your smile made me fall in love with you, and I knew then that I wanted to wake to see your smile every morning. Wow. So they still love you, Aries. And yes, they have entered into a third party. They've created drama. They didn't appreciate you. And maybe they need a distance from you to recognize the value of what you represented in their life. Because clearly, if you guys are not together right now, they're, de they're definitely not waking up to see your smile every morning. 
okay? Next message. I believe the best is yet to come. Keep praying, stay positive, and keep believing in us. Because there's still hope. Oh, wow. Next message. I am, I am your, oh, wait, let me, what? Okay, I am your not-so-secret admirer. I know that you know that I am always checking up on you. So they might even be checking you out on social media. That's interesting. Okay, next message. Your love makes me feel untouchable and invincible. You make me stronger, happier, and wiser. Your love is the greatest love I have ever known. And again, maybe they needed to come to that realization by experiencing some something difficult in your partnership. It's one of those things where you have to lose it to realize what you had to begin with. Next message. I would wait for eternity to be with you. I will never let you go. You are my one true love. I have been waiting a lifetime for you. And again, for those of you who are married, maybe your person truly, again, needed to experience some hardships in the partnership to realize the grass wasn't greener, was it? They had the best all along. Their one true love. Next message. I am so proud of you, my love. You inspire me to be a better person. I am working on myself and I hope that I can inspire you too. So that's a good thing. They are working on themselves. They are trying to better themselves. And I feel you both have work that you need to do on yourselves at this time. During this break, during that Four of Swords energy of recuperation and just taking time for yourselves. It's a resting period. So take advantage of that. All right, last message, Aries. I am involved with someone else. And it wouldn't be fair to either of you to pursue our connection at this time. Because they're with a karmic or a third party. So that is coming through for some of you guys. Okay? So whichever ones you are guided towards. Alright guys, so let's add to this with some lover's oracle. And as always, take what resonates with you. Angels and spirit guides for Aries. In love and life, second half of March. What else do we need to know, please? What else do we need to know? Okay, that's quite a few, but we'll take them. All right. What do we have? All right, let's start with this one. It is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone instead of placing your focus on another. Now is the time to give to yourself. Exactly. Which is why we have that four of swords coming through. Recuperation, rest, a break. Next message. Look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. So the love is definitely still here. And it's that love that will ultimately bring you guys back together. For those, of course, who are open to reconciliation. And for those who have a partner that is willing to let go of this third party and or karmic partnership. Because there are those of you, and we, we did have that card come forward. I am involved with someone else. And it wouldn't be fair to either of you to pursue our connection at this time. So... Consider that a blessing in disguise if they feel the, the need to just keep their distance because they're involved with somebody else. You're not going to want to be attached to somebody like that anyway. Okay, that's for some of you guys. All right, next message. Acceptance is the key to inner peace. 
At times, we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. And it's true because everybody has their own free will. You can't control them. They can't control you. If they want to get into a third party, you know, they can do that. But they can't control you from creating this barrier, from ghosting them. Everybody's got their own free will. All right. We have sexual union. Honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul. For there you will find true bliss. So for those of you, of course, who've had those intimate moments with your person, it's being reflected here. And um, unfortunately, somebody who has chosen to enter into a third party situation, a karmic partnership with somebody else outside of the connection, is not honoring the special connection that you have shared with this person on an intimate level. They're not honoring that. And in order for them to deserve to come back into your life, Aries, there are some changes that need to be implemented here. They need to be able to respect you and honor who you are as a person and the partnership and what it stands for. And we have a new beginning. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. Okay? So for those of you who want this reconciliation and a new beginning, it will present itself in time. All right, guys. So let's close this out with some final messages from the angels. This particular deck may or may not have anything to do with your love life. These are just some final thoughts that the angels want to be able to share with you at this time for the second half of March, Aries. Okay, so let's see. Angels and spirit guides for Aries, please. So again, we'll grab a few from here, whichever one you are guided towards. I'm guided to maybe a couple more. Let's grab this bottom card. All right, this one's flying across. We have Serena. We have Grace and Antoinette. Mystique, Archangel Uriel, and Teresa. All right. Serena, I am the angel of abundance. You will receive the money that you need. And God is in charge of how that will happen. Have faith. So for those of you who are expecting money, it's on its way to you. Grace and Antoinette, to help heal this situation, see the other person's point of view with compassion. Okay, so it's... A call for compassion to see things from the other person's perspective. And I know that's not the easiest thing to do. When we are upset with somebody, when somebody has hurt us, broke our heart. But this is actually what's going to help you personally heal yourself. Next message. Mystique. Keep charging ahead. And don't take no for an answer. Expect miraculous solutions to appear. Fantastic. So if you have hit any roadblocks in your life, not just in regard to your love life, anything, your health, your family, your other relationships, finances, career, whatever it is, don't take no for an answer. Just keep going. If you believe in yourself, if you believe in a goal, in a dream, Angel Mystique is here to help you with these miraculous solutions. We have Archangel Uriel. Your emotions are healing, which enables you to open to greater love. I will help you release anger and unforgiveness from your heart and mind. And I really feel here for some of you, 
It is so needed here. Third parties, karmics, blackmail. It's not easy. Archangel Uriel is here to help you to heal your heart space, to get over this grief, to overcome what it is that you're trying to process in your heart. You know, if you're really upset with this person, if you're really angry with them, and maybe you just don't have an outlet to voice that anger, Archangel Uriel is here to help you do that. All right, last card, Teresa. Time out. You've been so busy taking care of everyone else's needs, but now it's time to stop and take care of yourself. Amen to that. Four of Swords, Aries. Take a break. Take care of you. Take care of you this time. Especially if you were dealing with a partner that made you feel secondary. Attach themselves to third parties. It's time for you. It's time for you to take care of yourself. Okay, so that is where I'm going to leave it, guys. Certainly, reconciliation is possible here for some of you, if you're open to that, and you and your partner are able to overcome the challenges here. And then there are those of you who might still be dealing with a person who has yet to detach themselves from this situation of karmics and third parties, and it's a call for action for you to move on and put yourself first. Make your own goals, your own dreams happen in your own life. You will be just fine. Okay, so that's what's coming through here, guys. Thank you so very much for tuning in. And if you are interested in your own personal pri private reading, I can't even speak. All of that info is down below in the description box. And I will be back real soon, guys, with more readings for you. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time.